So I'm at Fellows Lake here, and it's a beautiful day. It is warm, and everyone is out. I was hoping I can find a spot. Thank goodness I did, because as I was driving, everyone was utilizing a location. Um, there's little nooks in the park here, and uh, I got some Wendy's, so I'm gonna eat that before I go do some stuff. I'm gonna do some mono recording of my NT5 and uh, try to capture something. I don't know, we'll see. I just kinda wanna go out and do something. And if something good comes out, this video will come out, which would be awkward because if it doesn't come out, you guys will not know that I've made it. So I guess I'll talk about my rig real quick. I've got the Sony FX30 here. Um, got the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, which is like the best microphone like ever. Uh, I've got Top Hundo because I kind of don't like to carry it from here. Even though I got the, the strap for the hand, like the Top Hundo makes life easier. I've got Sigma 18-35. Lens going on with a Tiffin ND filter variable. This is an EF2 E adapter. I only have one E mount lens. Uh, that the guy who bought or who sold this to me, um, he gave it to me as well. And it's uh, like I think 14 mil or 13 mil. So <laughs> I want to kind of have a little more range. Uh, just a photography tripod. So I brought this camera out today because I wanted to test it out a little more. Uh, I haven't had a chance to really test it out. Um, I'm using a few weddings, yeah, but like it's just set it up, wedding or ceremony done, put it back. So I haven't really like used it on like full fully for a gig or of anything really. Um, I mean, it's been used on a few gigs, but I wasn't a DP or camera operator. So uh, I wasn't like actually functioning it. Um, I basically wasn't one of it, but like, but I was just changing white balance and ISO and that's it really. So um, there wasn't much like I learned from it, I, I would say. Uh, I do, I do feel like people talk about noise on it a little bit and um, when I first experienced it with it, I didn't own it yet, but then I experienced it. And if you kind of expose 
outside of the base ISO when you're shooting log, then there's a lot, of, there's a lot of like noise. So you either 800 or 2500 only, and it's pretty nice to have, you know, two ISOs to choose from. But then, uh, I would like it to go higher. <laughs> I understand it's APS-C, so there might be some limitations. But at the same time. I mean, I don't know why today's busy, so uh, there's a lot of people here at Phillips Lake, which is, I've never seen this many people here. I don't think an event is happening. I think people are just finally happy it's not raining, it's not cold, I mean, it's not warm either, but it's literally perfect to hang out outside, so why not go outside? That's why I'm out here, so I have the same mindset, I just use the camera instead. But yeah, um, I don't know. I'm not an engineer. I, I do wish that crop sensors can have more base ISO or higher base ISO. Um, because my C70 goes 3200, you know, and the R5C goes 3200. That's full frame, but then, it's, you know, um, Sony's A7S3 and FX3 and... FX6 goes to, what, 12,000, you know? But this isn't a camera review, so. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was, um, earlier I said I was gonna do some mono sound recording, which is hard to decide to do that because you have to have a purpose what you want to record. And uh, I would most likely just do footsteps, which, <laughs> I don't want to do right so when you're out in just like area like this stereo recording is really what you kind of want to do like ambient stuff so um instead especially since it's latte i'm not going to record but then i have my video mic on my camera and that's perfectly suitable for um mono recording because that microphone is like supreme in everything it's so good it's so clean you know so yeah if I was gonna do on recording it would just be through that I'll just record the video at the same time so I was gonna record me setting up and stuff I had like a V mount set up for my F3 and everything but yeah whatever I hate doing all that <laughs> I kind of do do hate like setting it all up you know just to make a quick video but whatever I'm kind of tired today too because I shot something this morning with my buddy and um, which hopefully I can release it pretty soon. It's the studio tours thing. But um, I want to talk a little more about the camera actually. Uh, so I have an EF to E adapter on and I have the Sigma version converter and then, or adapter rather. And then I have a Sigma lens, the 18-35. I'm at 18 mils right now. I'm I'm probably like two and a half feet away from the camera. When I first put it on, autofocus worked fine. Um, it's not strong, you know, I guess communication wise, it's not fast. And then sometime later, I tested it again and it just didn't work anymore. I don't know why. Uh, I couldn't figure out why. And <laughs> I didn't want to figure it out why too. Uh, I guess to control the lens, the aperture. And I can still focus, so because this is mechanical focus, so that's fine. And then just last week, I put this lens back on, and all the focus worked again. So I don't know, I don't know what the heck, <laughs> but it's not great. Earlier, I was like when I was pointing this camera at me so I can do this, it would focus my eye, and then it would focus to the trees, and then go back to the eye. So I had to like. I have to go to the eye and it just click my angle focus so it stops. So, you know, uh, this is the world of autofocus in the end. Um, I think Sony cameras, autofocus wise, works better with their lenses, the E mount, mirrorless lenses. Um, and I think Canon, they do a pretty good job with uh, like the EF lenses you know I mean when I have my ADD we'll just still have it 
I used a 2470 uh, f2.8 on it, the old one, EF uh, version 2, and that worked great, you know. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe Canon has better autofocus in that sense. This is not a competition because everyone seems to think Sony is better. Uh, but I think it depends what kind of lens you use to test it too. So, there's that. That's a lot of camera talk for this channel. <laughs> but I do a lot of camera stuff anyway, so I have to talk about everything. But, um, sound-wise, uh, nothing's happening, especially today. Um, I'm not recording anything. I don't plan to because there's a lot of people out. And you can hear them from a distance. And then there's planes flying in and out. Uh, there's, I guess there's a small airport somewhere over there. I don't know. That's just what my map showed me on my app. And my my uh, drone warned me. See, whatever. It's like what? But like I'm not in the circle, you know. So <laughs> whatever. I can still fly. I just have to agree to if something happens, it's my fault. But I think that's gonna be it. Um, I just captured a bunch of regular stuff today. And um, just some B-roll stuff, just kind of toy with the camera a little more and see if I can expose without false color. Okay, that's another thing. False color, um, I think every camera should have it at this point in time with technology, uh, especially a camera that considers itself to be a cinema camera like the FX30 here and the FX3 and the FX6, which I discovered last week. I don't know why they don't put false color in it. Maybe some limitations, I don't know, but it's a simple firmware update, I'm sure. And it'd be great to have it. I mean, you have focus peaking, and you have this, Sony has this new focus thing, which is makes absolutely no sense to me, but, but you don't have false color. So false color would be nice in every camera, just because I'm, not because I'm spoiled by it, which I kind of am, but it increases my speed in how I expose and how I work, right? And if, it, if it's a tool that you can use to increase and do better efficiency and better work, then why not have it, you know? I know we've exposed in the past when we first started out without false color, but then once you've graduated to it, especially with shooting log, false color is pretty important, so. But that's gonna be it for today. Um, I just, I'm making a video literally to be released on a Tuesday because I don't have anything out. <laughs> so um, I'm not trying to make content to make content, but I do want to put some thought into what I make as well. So I'll see you guys next time.